Hey guys, I'm back with part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this modern mansion. Here in this one we're going to be doing the landscaping for the front and backyard. I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using. So I have the gravel, diorite, lime and green terracotta, the jungle leaves, some podzol, coarse dirt, some stripped jungle wood, mud brick wall, then the white concrete, grey concrete, smooth quartz slabs, a bucket of water, campfire, dark oak fence, lantern, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, slabs, and the cobblestone wall, and then some smokers, iron trap door, and then a bunch of different flowers for the garden at the front side of the house. We're going to do the front yard first. Let's start by deleting this first layer of all the blocks here. So I'll head on over here towards the left, right at the edge of the house. And we just want to bring a strip out all the way until we meet up with the edge of the plot size over here. And then we'll bring this straight across all the way to the other side of the edge over here. And then you can just bring this right back in right there. And now I'm just going to continue deleting the first layer of all the blocks throughout the middle of that shape we just cut out. And I'm going to stop it right here underneath the door. So then all this other space that you see, you can remove. So there we go, just deleted that first layer of all the blocks here at the front. And now I am going to add back a little bit of grass, that way we can place the bushes with no problems. So let's go ahead and grab the regular grass block. And I'm going to line up here at the corner of the house. And we just want to be sure to bring a strip of the grass all the way to the edge. In case you didn't mark out the plot size, it's going to be a strip of 12. So now right on top of this, with the jungle leaves, you can add a strip. So we have the start of the pathway that we're going to have here. Now back to the grass. We're going to skip over 5 spaces away from that. So we're going to be on the 6th space, and we're going to be right here where we deleted the blocks. And I'm going to place a strip going back in towards the house, it's going to be 9. Now go towards the right of that, in that direction, and we're going to place another 9. And now back out to the edge of the plot size on this side. So we just shaped out a square right here. On top of those grass blocks is now going to be the leaves. There we go. Let's mark out this side over here. So just an extra strip going all the way to the corner of the house. Cover that up with the leaves. So we have the driveway. Now back to the grass, let's line up here at the corner of this part, we'll bring it out by 4, bring this over until we line up at the corner of the grey concrete, and then work it back in, and now on top of this we'll have the leaves again, and now we have everything marked out. Now let's start filling everything in, we'll start with the lime and green terracotta, and I'm just going to have some strips of these so it looks like mowed grass. So I'll start over here at the edge, and I'll just have two strips of the lime, then two strips of the green, and we'll just keep going back and forth until all of this space is filled in, up until the jungle leaves. So this section is done. We have the same thing right here for this middle space. And then let's do, or how about we do the garden area. So it's just going to be a mixed up pattern between the podzol and the coarse dirt.
so that's all filled in and now the rest of it is going to be a mixed up pattern with the gravel and the diorite And now we have the walkway and the driveway all filled in. Now let's add everything for the garden. So first, we'll switch to the jungle leaves. And I'm just going to have a bush, maybe right around here, just piled up. Kind of a little bit in front of the window. So I'd say a little something like that is good. And now everywhere else, I'm going to fill in with all of the flowers. So let's start with the bigger ones. So a little something like that. Maybe add another one right here. And maybe another one of these right there. Or how about we switch that up right there. There we go. And now let's add a few of the smaller ones. And then a bunch of ferns. And there we go. Now the final thing we're going to do for the front yard is the palm tree over here at the left side. I have the mud brick wall, the jungle leaves, and the stripped jungle wood. Let's start with the mud brick wall. I'll have it maybe right around there. And I'll bring it up until I feel like it's a pretty good height. So how about... Maybe right around there, just a little bit taller than that part of the house. I think that'll be good. And now with the jungle leaves, right on top of that, let's bring up a pillar of five. And then let's go ahead and do another four, starting down at the bottom on each side. And then we could do two in between each of those. And now on each side, maybe starting on this space, we could have a single block like that. And then go down at the bottom and have another. We could then just delete that one so they're corner to corner. And then we'll go down one more time and have two. So a little something like that should be good. We'll do the same on this side. So a block there. Another one down below. Delete that one. And then one more further down. Delete that. And add an additional one. We'll do the same over here. And one more time back here. And now we want to go out from each corner. So we got this block right here. So we'll place one, place another. So now we're at the corner of that. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll have one right here from like out from the corner of that, and we'll bring this down by three. So we have one and three. We'll do the same over here. So we have one, and then three. There we go, looking a little something like that. And now let's grab the stripped jungle wood. Maybe have one here and here so it looks like coconuts. And how about we actually delete this top block? Yeah, that looks so much better. I'm not sure why I ended up adding that. But yeah, there we go, the palm tree is now complete. And that is the last thing we're going to do here for the front yard. Now, let's go towards the back side and do everything here for the backyard. Let's start by deleting the first layer of the blocks back here, just like how we did it for the front. So I'm going to line up here at the edge of the house, and I'll bring this strip all the way out until we delete that block of the concrete for the plot size. And then I'll bring this all the way over to the other edge of the house. So I'm going to stop it right here, 
bring that in. We can then delete the few spaces right here underneath this door. And now you can see all of the space within that shape we can continue deleting. So now we have that all cleared out here for the backside. Let's start by marking out the pool. So we're going to be using the white concrete, the gray concrete, and then we'll end up filling it in with the water. So let's start with the white concrete. Now I'm going to line up over here at this right edge of the window. We want to make sure we're also four spaces away from the house. So we're going to be on the fifth space right here. And we'll bring a strip all the way over until we're lined up with the left edge of the wood. So this final block is going to be lined up right here at this part of the house. And then we'll push back each side until we leave two spaces remaining here at the back where we cut it out. So I'll just wrap this all the way around until we shape out this rectangle. And then I'm going to have a little hot tub right here in the corner. So it's just going to be a 4x4 four four square. So just add an extra layer right on top of the white concrete. And then you could go ahead and bring this in. So now we have this 4x4 four four square. And then you could add an additional layer right below this. So it goes all the way down to that grass layer. And then for these remaining 4 spaces, it's going to be filled in with some gray concrete. Leaving this just one block deep, which we can then fill in with the bucket of water. Now let's continue with that gray concrete and we're going to start working our way further down into the pool. So over here where the hot tub is, is going to be the shallow end and then over here is going to be the deeper end. So let's start here at the left. We're just going to delete this first layer of the grass within here. And I'll bring it over until maybe just a couple blocks further than the hot tub. So all of this right here will be the shallow end. So now you can fill this all in with gray concrete. Now let's go down on the next layer. So it'll be an extra block further down. And I'll bring this over, let's see, how many more spaces? So this is four, let's go ahead and try five and see how that looks. And then we're left with six more spaces here, so yeah, right here will just be five blocks wide. We'll fill all of this in. And then the rest of this, we'll dig all the way down. We'll be sure to remove that layer of the bedrock. We'll now fill all of this in at that bedrock layer. And then we have all the dirt right below the white concrete. So we'll be sure to replace all of that. And now we have the pool all marked out. Let's now fill it all in with the bucket of water. Now it's all filled in with the water, so that's going to be it for the pool. And how about we actually add a diving board over here? That's pretty much something that I actually forgot at the original build. So I already have the smooth quartz slab. Let's also grab the smooth quartz stair. So we'll have a stair right here, just right down the middle. We'll have another one upside down behind that. And then just a couple slabs going out. So just a simple little diving board design right there. And now for all the remaining space that we cut out, has to be filled in with the gravel and the diorite. So just a mixed up pattern, just like how we did it at the front side of the house.
Now I filled all the remaining space in with the gravel and the diorite. Let's mark out the little patio space we have over here. So I have the white concrete, the smooth quartz slabs, and the campfire. So we'll start with the white concrete. I'm going to be in one block from the edge of the pool. We also want to make sure we're three spaces away from the pool, so we're on the fourth space right here. And I'll place three of the white concrete, branch out one on each side. So that is one couch. Let's have another one over here. I pretty much just want to make sure it's lined up at the center of the pool. So we're going to be one space away from this couch and out one. So it'll be right here. So you can see how we have this full block in between each corner of the couches. And now let's have another one over here just like that side. And now these are perfectly centered with the pool. So we left one more space behind that one. And then we also have the single space remaining here. Now let's add the smooth quartz slab for each of those couches. And then we'll have a 3x3 three three with the slabs right here down the middle with the campfire. And then over here up against this wall, I'm going to have a grill. So make sure you have the cobblestone. And I'll place two right here. I'll have some slabs on top of that. And then two smokers right in front of that. And then the cobblestone stairs, I'll just have two upside down on each side. And right here will be the cobblestone wall. And it has some iron trap doors to cover up the tops of the smokers. And now there is one final thing I want to do, and that is with the dark oak fences and the lanterns. So I'm just going to add a few of these around the backyard. So how about one right here, so just two dark oak fences, maybe another one right here. On top of these, we'll have a lantern. And then let's do a couple more over here next to the pool. So how about one right here? So we left four spaces. So let's do the same thing on this side, one right around here. Yeah, that should be good. And now that is actually it for the backyard. So I'm now going to go through and just clear out all the rest of the concrete for the plot size. So I'll just skip right over that and I'll see you once I have it all cleared out. So I just finished going around and just cleaning up the rest of that concrete that was remaining. And now the entire outside of the build is complete. So we have the house itself and all of the landscaping. Now the final thing we have left is the interior. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this modern mansion. If this helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 4. We'll then be jumping on into the interior.